Hey guys, Jordan here. Welcome on back to the Retro Kid. We are wrapping up our Monday twin bill of Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. As always, if you've been enjoying the content, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Also, we have Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up this weekend. For those of you unfamiliar, Sports Saturday, pretty self-explanatory. We play a sports game from the 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th generation. Sucker Punch Sunday, we play a fighting or fighting platform-based game. You're basically beat them up, for lack of a better term. From that same golden era of 1984 to about 2010. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at RRetrocade, and please help if you can. Spread the word. We're trying to reach our goal of 100 subscribers as soon as possible. As soon as we do that, YouTube unlocks their customization algorithm, and we can make this channel even better. And if there's any game you would like to see us feature from the following consoles, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, SNK Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, or PlayStation 2, leave it in the comments below or drop me a tweet. We're always trying to make sure we can get new content lined up to have on this channel. I know we've been playing this particular game, Final Fantasy VI, for a while now. This is our 44th episode, and I keep saying I'm hoping it's going to be done in the next 15 to 20, and I'm trying to obviously go as fast as I can, uh, but this is a big, classic, epic role-playing game for good reason. And also because I had never played it before, uh, I kind of had an idea what I was getting into having played other RPGs and JRPGs, but even so, uh, they've paled in comparison to what we've done so far with this to date. That said, when I left you in the previous episode, we had done a little bit of trying to acquire some items before we went ahead and attacked one of the remaining eight legendary dragons. And then we came down here to the Opera House and fought, which was the one that was known as the Dirt Dragon. And actually ended up being a lot easier than I was led to believe. Because we had Mash the Monk and his ultimate death blow attack. And we had Gao and we had Strago in all of their abilities to lay serious beatdowns on that dragon. And it only ended up taking, I don't think more than two, three rounds at most. So what I need to do in this episode is we, first of all, we need to get back on the ship. And I need to, whoops, I need to get the party reorganized a little bit. Because we're going to try and go and wrap up Strago and Realm's storyline, which means we have to go back to Thamasa, which is where we found Tina. And she's sitting right there. And then once we do that, we should be in a pretty good position to either take on another elite dragon or even consider going after Kefka's tower, which we haven't done yet because that is one of the more touchy points and more tougher points, I should say, uh, in Act 2. So what I want to do right now is I want to see here. I should take... Who does it tell me I should bring with me in here? Because I need to bring Strago and Realm. They're mandatory. I should bring Gao. And the question is, who else do I want to bring? Because this is going to be more of a magic fight. In having somebody who can get... more magic off will probably be more helpful in this point in this stage of the the quest than having mere muscle so i think what i'll do for this one is it would make sense to have tina come with have gal Have Strago and Realm because they're mandatory. Now, question is do I need to equip anybody? No. Okay. What I should do though is I should go get. Since I have plenty of gill to work with, 
I should go get a few more items, which means I don't have to go very far to get them, fortunately. All I gotta do is come over here to Miranda. And the shops are here. Yep, I do need to go down this way. Because what I need is I need... The Oath Veils could be helpful. I don't need to worry about the Comradeship Robes. I don't need to worry about that armor anymore. They've already got... How many Black Clothes do I have? I have two own three equipped. Should be good there, but I don't have any Oath Veils. I'll get three of them since I have the guild to spend. And at some point, I should get over to a shop where I can buy more shurikens for Shadow, but right now I don't need to worry about that. I don't need a sword breaker. Already got a falchion equipped. This stuff I don't need to worry about so much. And she's got the paintbrush and... Um, Strago has the wizard wa uh, rod. But if I remember right, there is not an item shop in here. There isn't, because this is Lola's house. Okay. But when we go to Thamasa, there are items. There's an item shop there. So we go back across the continent. Over to the trench. Follow the trench. Whoop, went too far. Back up this way. Can't land on a tree. Sure to save it. Okay. Whoops. Wrong one. I, for some reason, thought that was Thamasa. Let me double check my map here. Let's see, where is it? That's right, here it is. You keep forgetting, it's one small quirk I have about the world map the way it is, because it's almost transparent. Here's the Masa. Okay, don't need to worry about those. I should get a couple of ethers while I'm here. Because I have enough magic users at this stage. Having them is gonna be... You just never know. And Realm, who insists on talking in the third person... Well, we stay for a while. Gunho. Soon, the legendary monster Hidun. And it was the one that did this to me. I was so close to defeating it, too. I guess Hidun. Yep. And he doesn't make it. So Gunho is shuffled off his mortal coil. And Realm initiates the vengeance quest. Spent a good deal of my youth pursuing that monster and learned its special to learn its special technique and almost got myself killed. I did. Me, and my granddaughter, and my Mohawk, we shall avenge you.
Okay. And actually, looking this back over, instead of having Tina, I should have Shadow in this. Oy vey. <laughs> nice little bit of Yiddish reference there. Uh, before we go, let's run in here really quick, see if there's anything... Should get a couple of circlets. The circlets are are all around good headgear to have at this stage. They're nothing fancy. They don't give any really special stuff, but... And while I'm here... Can get the shurikens. Don't need to worry about the holy rod or anything else. Okay. So the oath veil drops all the major stats, but it bumps up magic defense. Which for realm is going to be pretty nice. Okay, so now before I do this, I should take Fenner off her, especially because she's already mastered it. Okay, do that. Come down here, replace party members. Yes, I do. Okay, so again, we have to have Strago, and we have to have Realm, and we have to have Gal. So we come over here, land this bird, save it again. Okay, and need to give him Hmm. Oh, geez, he still hasn't even learned Fyra yet. Well, that'll be helpful in here because we're going up against undead stuff. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, can't drain you that way. Well, that didn't help very much. Still can't magic drain me, which is helpful. Interceptor will jump in and hit this bear. Double hit and done. So we need to go find coral fragments. Found three. Let's see here. Yeah. 
hits his back with a lightning. Ow. Oh, and having that blade on him isn't going to help much because everything in here is undead. So I need to have him keep the thief's knife. But I'm glad I went ahead and got those shurikens because I'm going to need them. Okay, that takes it out. Now, before I do anything else, I need to equip Shadow with something other than the Ichigeki Blade. Now, the Maneater would be good here, except it's only that only really works well against humanoid creature uh, enemies, I should say. So, looks like I will give him the piercing katana to go along with the thief's knife. That way he can still steal, but then I don't have to worry about dealing with... I found two coral fragments. Five coral fragments. Okay. Make sure he's healed. Double tap that, and now I don't have to worry so much when Shadow goes in and hits something that it's going to get brought back. Because the problem is when you auto-kill it, if it's undead and it comes back, it comes back with full health. I didn't realize that at the time. Okay. Well, crap. <laughs> I cast death on it, and it still didn't kill it. Fortunately, that took care of it. Strago and Gal leveled up. Okay. Two more fragments. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Because everything's undead in here, it should be worthwhile to use fire. Because everything in here should be susceptible to fire. That's one of the perks of having to deal with undead. One coral fragment. Okay. Wasn't enough. Oh, 
I gave him, I think, almost 20. Well, luckily, everybody goes a little bit faster. Okay, found three. Unless these chests replenish somehow, which would not be unsurprising to me if they did. That's what I thought. Good level two fire spell in here. We'll do wonders. Down three more. Hey. Well, we found a save point, if nothing else. That'll be helpful. Except we just came that way. Quake. Now, hopefully, that didn't hurt us as well as them. Ow. Oh, crap. That should kill Realm. Okay, well, it's a good thing that we found this save point because this allows me to utilize both Phoenix Downs and one of my tents. Okay, and save again really quick. All right, well, how the heck do we get out of here? Three seahorses. Now, the thing about Fire A is that sometimes when Gao utilizes it, he hits multiple enemies with it. I'm hoping this is going to be one of those times where he does. Okay, you got a little cooked. I think Strago is going to take the brunt of this one. Oh, but he healed. Nice. Realm leveled up. Found five more. Back at save point. I don't want to be here. Ah. Okay, took out the slat really quick. Still didn't steal anything. This is one of those times where I wish I could have gotten locked a lot sooner. Ow. We 
We got a teleport stone, so that'll help us get out of here when we're done. Got another coral fragment. And Mahadeva again. Okay, well, he's not too tough. Okay, give me some more. Still, <laughs> really, dude? You frickin' glutton, you? Well, not that I was planning on this to happen, but this may end up running a little bit longer than I anticipated. So we've got to give it, in order to get past the test, we've got to give it at least 22 at once. Well, that's good to know. So don't feed it until we've had 22 or more. So how many do we have right now? It doesn't keep track for us. Well, that's helpful. Back to the save point. This should take out most of these guys, if not Ow. Not yet. Don't call me a miser, you frickin' glutton. You're the one who wants 22 of these damn things. Take these guys out to sea. Chop that one down, and we should be all set. All right, so that's five, so I think that gives me six. While I'm at it, I will heal up some people pretty fast. Helpful of interceptors step in right there. Well, now that I've given them their best weapons for Strago and Realm, damn it. Okay, so that's 10.
Just torch him, literally. Goodbye. Okay, so I've got at least 14. No. Okay, you sent me back to the beginning. Okay, that should be at least 15. We should try and take the seahorse out first while he's in the zap realm. Okay, he's gone. Interceptor goes ahead and gnaws on that big Bantha's ankles for a bit. Okay, so that should be 17 thereabouts. Get a quick sip here. From all my years in radio, I was always taught two things. Don't chew on on a microphone and don't drink when you're on a microphone. Sometimes, though, you just can't help it. You need to get a sip of something. Okay, that should be 20. Ooh, and the preemptive attack couldn't have come at a better time. Release the hounds! Creature still not dead yet. Now it's gone. Okay. Well, we'll give it a try. There. Dude. And we have met Hidden. Or not quite. Okay, I'm definitely wanting to save my magic for when we get to them. Ow. Well, 
Well, it takes out the Warlock, at least. Realm will be able to heal. That big tub of goo goes away. Shadow leveled up. All right. Now, it looks like I'm going to be fighting one primary boss with four acolytes in front of it. So, it looks like what I want to be able to make sure of is we don't have to worry. Whoops. I need accessories. Okay. So, I don't need to worry about shoes right now. Uh, I need... Not Kappa. Not... There we go. Need the Peace Ring. Because these guys apparently cast Confuse. Whoops. Need come here. Okay, and the Grow Egg is helpful for Realm because she's been able to really up her uh, levels. The Grow Egg is a recent item I acquired when I got Mog. Do I not have any more Peace Rings? I should. I don't. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take some of my chances. Poison in darkness, reason strength, don't need to worry about that. Don't want to give her the reflect ring. Let's see, what does this do? Okay, well, I will give her an earring. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, what I want is something that casts fire. Okay, so his bio attacks don't necessarily poison everybody, but... Certainly don't help much. Okay, when in doubt, go with Mighty Guard.
Okay, I gotta be able to hit him soon. Or at least be able to heal soon. Now the thing about Hidun is we need to be able to make sure that he casts a special ability called Ghost Train. If we kill him before he casts it, then this will have been for naught because we need Strago to be able to learn it. Okay, so that Erebus is gone. And here's Grand Train. Now hopefully this will not kill us. Ooh. Wow. Thank you, Interceptor. Still not enough yet. But we're flaming the heck out of it. Okay, almost there. Absorbed out of the gap, but still not a ton. Come on, we gotta be able to do this. Oh crap, you brought back. Great. I didn't realize he could bring back his acolytes. That's not good. Well, this is going to take a little bit longer than I anticipated. Okay, that one's gone. That one's gone. She hit that one for a ton. Well, he's way laying into it. Something fierce. He's cast a grand train again. Oh boy. Well, that one wasn't so bad. He 
He's gonna heal himself or she's gonna heal him. See if the shurikens go any faster or do more damage. I gotta be able to take this sucker out. How many hit points does he have? He's got... 25,000. You would think by this point, with how much I'm able to hit it for... It'd be gone by now. See if she can torch it. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't bring more of them back! Crap! <laughs> Not more of them! How many times do I have to go through and take these down? Oh, I didn't realize Shadow is dead. Or Shadow is a zombie in this case. Which means I need to get him holy water. Toot sweet. hit him with I need to hit him with something a lot bigger than just that fire where is he oh I killed him again Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Unfortunately, Gao has level 3 cure. That's helpful. Okay, I gotta be able to give him something big here. 
What do I have? Okay, let's try this again. Hmm. Mighty Guard seemed to help out the last time. Okay. Well, I'll give it a shot. Super fire. Still not enough. Good God. What the hell do I have to throw at this thing to kill it? I'm not hitting with anything that should cause it to heal. It's doing that all on its own. But my goodness. It's crazy with how this thing just will not die. I'm literally hitting it with everything I've got, and it just will not keel over. That should have been enough to do it. It's got 25,000 hit points. And I... Oh, you're kidding me. I somehow killed Gal again. Okay. I'm hitting it with level three fire spells. And now it finally keels over. Well, what I thought was only going to take about 25, 30 minutes ended up taking almost twice as long.
Now, please tell me you go back to Thamasa. Okay, you finally beat him. That's great. Did he actually not fight him? Okay, so he gives him the full play-by-play. -play. So it looks like this was all meant to be a confidence boost for Strago that realm set up wow okay okay so we ended up having a double stuffed episode here which was not my intent but the trade-off is how much we haven't got we've got 25,000 gil and we've got that part of the quest line done. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the airship for a save it. And as always, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new, ring the bell, be notified of the latest content. Don't forget, we got Sports Saturday and Soccer Punch Sunday coming up this weekend. Follow us on Twitter at our retro cage. As always, help us reach our goal of 100 subscribers as soon as possible. And if there's any game you'd like to see us feature from the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth generation of consoles, the Golden Age from 1984 to 2010, leave it in the comments below or drop me a tweet. As always, my name is Ronan. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, everybody, and I will talk to you on Wednesday. Bye.